Oh. Jimmy, oh. What, are you, what are you doing here? Hi, Dean. Hey. Am I late? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you are you painting? No, I'm, I'm, this guy I'm, has I'm, a. I'm feeding the baby rainbows. He has a paintbrush. It is a paintbrush. Hold on. Let me. Let me. These these are the 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 babies that we got from Gary. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I, I got like uh, so four vials of eggs. Uh huh. Two of them were the same, so they're in the same tray. These have all hatched. Uh, what it's been almost a week, right? Yeah, exactly a week. Exactly a week, right? So I just take my paintbrush and I just tap right on the surface here. And you can just see that just dusting the top. And that's Sarah Micro? This is Sarah Micro. Oops, didn't get it. <laughs> oh. And then, you know, Gary gives us these little vials of food. Uh, you can also do it with them. I find the paintbrush works really well because you can just dip it in there, a couple taps, and it just gets enough on the surface. Nice. So what, which rainbows are what? Oh, uh, okay. Are they so all the same or? These are the pygmaeas. <sighs> yes. <laughs> um, these are praycocks. Okay. You got praycocks eggs? I, I wanted to get praycocks again just to make sure that Mine and his are the same. Okay. And what are these? These um, are something else. The Melanda. Well, yeah, Melanda. That's the new one that Melanda. he brought. Right, right. That's the one I got. I got only 40 eggs. Okay. So, only? <laughs> yeah, so. You know, and you can see that I got really good hatches. Yeah. yeah. There will be some casualties along the way. Mm -hmm. So out of 40 eggs, I'll be happy to get, you know, 35 or so. Yeah, that's still a good amount. Like yeah, uh, they're a tiny. They are teeny. This is why they take the small food at first. Now, all of these, these ones and these ones took baby Brian this morning. Uh, these ones, not quite. These hatched. These were the third ones to hatch. Okay. First ones to hatch were the pygmaeas. Second were the praycocks, and these hatched last. So. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, that's a good, the hatchery for the pygmaeas look really good. Yeah, really good. And yeah. this looks really good too. Yeah. Compared to the number of eggs I got, there's plenty of fry to to grow up. Nice. So. Very cool. Well, let's get on to what we came here for. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I worked at the retail store today. Yes, I sometimes work here. Usually, when I come into the store, and then when it's super slow, I go around taking pictures of fish and deciding what fish goes on Instagram. And uh, just walking through the store this morning, I saw some dwarf neon rainbow fish. Oh, what a surprise, me liking rainbow fish. But I found out that Dean dropped some off. And there were some really, really nice ones in here. And so I gotta have them. I'm kind of stupid because I, I kept on telling people how awesome they were and they kept on buying them. I myself took home the last three remaining males and one female. Um, I texted Dean and told him I need more, so hopefully I can just go to his house and just pick them up um, straight directly from him instead. Uh, so I got those guys right over here, ready to go. They're gonna go on the rainbow tank because literally I have nowhere else to put them. And uh, I think we're gonna go squid fishing tonight uh, with Sam. So nine o'clock tonight in the dark, off of the pier, should be fun, brain fart. Uh, should be fun, and um, I'll see you guys there. No, wait, I'm gonna bring the camera there. I'm talking to the camera, not you guys, all right? So. What are you doing, Sam? Setting up lights. Long story short, the squid like the light. Um, they don't like a ton of it. It attracts the food for the bait fish the squid eat. And it's kind of hard to get the light set up at the right angle so that they actually go into the water. It's looking that looks right. pretty good though. Yeah, we're good. Oh, oh, he's fighting it. You gotta play with him. 
I'd rather like it dead stuff. Oh! 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 Yeah. Oh! Oh! Yep. A little cloud of ink right there. Right there, yep. What you got? There you are. It's a skate. Um, they get about, you know, eight feet in diameter. Right. When they get big, that's a baby, you know. Could be only months old, it's kind of cool. They have a weird tail, they got a spike right there. Yeah, it kind of, kind of wants to sting you right yeah, now. There's a, there's feel a the barbell spike. right there. Yeah. yeah, feel the spike though, right? Yeah. It's fine. So. But they're pretty cool. That's a little baby. You don't see these very often. Go ahead and release this guy. Yeah, maybe. Back into the water. Take him up. Well, uh, Sam failed, and he's not here to explain himself. So, Where's you that? know, we're going home empty handed, but. It's like midnight. It's actually 12:30 actually, and uh, it's time to go home. Want to try this again another day, but you know, you know how fishing goes. Three days later. Looks like Dean's got some plants up in here. Oh, where did those come from? <laughs> where did they come from? Where did those come from? <laughs> and it's alive. And it's alive so far. So far. And I'll, I'll give so right far. Here. Look. Got some there. Got some window lob here. Oh, yep, definitely came from the aquarium co-op. <laughs> and there's still no snails in the tanks. Really? Uh, I thought I saw one, but yeah, no. you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I got the I got the plants out of the puffer tanks at the store. I'm anti-snail. That's super smart. Get yeah. plants from puffer tanks. Yeah. If snail. you want to avoid snails. Exactly. All right, so I came here to grab some of these. Praycox. But, but, come on, there they are. Oh. Yeah, those guys are a lot bigger than the ones you uh, had oh, brought no, no. to. This is the breeding group. Okay, yeah, that's a breeding group. And these you can are have the... all of them. What? If you want. But oh, because you have that? No, because Praycox are here. Oh, okay. Praycox are here, Praycox are here. Oh, okay. No, I'm, I mean, but the only problem with the breeding group is, we'll, we'll get them, let me get a ladder is I think there's only one male in here and the rest are females. You get a lot of eggs that way. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? See? Yeah. Female, 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 female. Only one male. Wow, the, fe the females even look male from here. Yeah. Yeah, they look good. I think that's just, you know, that's the strain. Uh, these were originally bought as Gary Lang's strain. Mm -hmm. But I, I have no way of confirming that. Yeah. That's why I, I got the, the eggs when he was Yeah, pregnant. just to make sure you well, have sure. the, the, his strain right here. Yeah. So, so if you could give like two tips on how to spawn these guys, what would you say? Two tips? Yep. Okay. Um, put a mop in, feed them, change the water. Thanks, well, that's see ya! At this size, and even a little bit smaller. These are what, maybe an inch and a half? These are already spawning. Oh, wow. So yeah, that's the size I have for, I bought from yeah. the store. Yeah. There's a lot of females in there too. Um, they, they will spawn actually even smaller than that. They will probably spawn starting around an inch. And, and when I talked to Gary about that, he said a lot of people don't realize that they're, they're already spawning. Go ahead and put them up in. Mm. You just get a little bit fewer eggs. Yeah. Because they're, they're small. But you still get babies. But you still get babies. Yeah. So what's the temperature you're running here and um, the hardness? Uh, it's just tap water. <laughs> it's tap water. Our tap water is it's so crazy soft. from the rest it's of the world. super soft. <laughs> um, I'm running 82 in the fry tanks. I think it's 80 in the breeding tank. My water comes out at a relatively high pH. Uh, probably about seven six mm -hmm. and higher, but it will drop in the tanks if I don't add some coral. Oh, okay. And you can't see coral, but it's behind the filters. Ah, is it behind there? So you might be able to get it right behind here. Oh, there it is. So There's that mess right there. <laughs> There's some babies in there right now. Yeah, they happen to be ones that just made it. So how I do, I do this a little bit differently than a lot of people. Um, I put a lot more females than males, usually two or three females to male. Um, I'll put the mop in 
but I don't pull the mop until I see fry that are that size in those trays swimming at the surface. Really? Yeah. Okay, so now... You're not afraid they're going to eat them? Right? They will eat them. But you'll have enough. But I can net those fry out, mm -hmm. and there will be hundreds of eggs in the mop. Oh, wow, yeah. So that, that way I know that the mop is full of eggs, because mm -hmm. they're already hatching. So you don't have to pull that much, you just pull, right. I pull very little, but a, but a lot. Yeah, I pull the mop out, and then I end up with, you know, batches like these. This is a split batch. Okay. I screwed up on both of these. Mm. I didn't really screw up, but... <laughs> nice, nice save. But I made myself a lot of work because I happened to mix in some lipstick barbs that I bred at the same time. Right. And I was thinking that they were going to be really easy to separate, but it's going to be a one at a time thing. Oh. Because they're both fast. Yep. Right? Yeah, the last time we were here, you were barely just starting this right. lipstick barb, yeah. which Corey really wanted something they're now, in, too. They're in the store now. Oh, they're in the store they're now. The you store get now. them at Aquarium Co-op. I took this. I, they were out of this tank. Okay. So I took them. They're in the store. And they are a cool little barb. One of the things I've heard about them is they eat algae and especially hair algae. Huh. And blackbeard algae. That's what? I can't confirm that. You can't confirm it. You don't I have any have algae. algae. Yeah. <laughs> Put them yeah, in that tank. That's not algae. <laughs> <laughs> so any any new breeding uh, no, projects cause, here? Because actually, wait I'm, a minute. What's you got a hill stream launch there? Oh, that he was a test. Okay, you're just testing. I, I got him because uh, see the algae on the side here. Yeah. Now there's no plecos in that tank. Um, this tank looked like that a week or so ago because I had just pulled all the guppies out of it. Uh huh. Um, and so I wanted to see if the hillstream loach would do the same as the um, bristle nose. Okay. Uh, the super red bristle nose at cleaning the algae up. He didn't. Have you tried like a uh, log sucker or a panagar or something? Not yet. Give that a try. Yeah. So so I put a couple plecos in there, and the front was gone in about two days. What? Just the regular bristle nose? Uh, they, these I have super red bristle. Yeah, nose. super reds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, always testing, Dean. Awesome. Have to, be, have to be always testing. I mean, you look at there's hardly any algae in here. I put two of the super reds in here, and this tank looked like this tank. Yeah. And it's almost completely clean. So actually, there's not a lot of breeding going on because I'm kind of slowing down. Mm hmm. Getting ready for I Peru. Need to empty tanks out for bringing fish back from Peru. What do you want to bring back, and what do you what are you expecting? What I this want trip. to bring back is stuff I haven't seen. Hold on. What? I, <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> <laughs> what I want to bring back is stuff I haven't seen, or it's not in the hobby. It doesn't have to be super rare, just as long as it's not in the hobby and something that that I, you know I can I can breed. Uh, you want to discover new fish? Oh, absolutely! <laughs> I want to name it after me. <laughs> what would be What would be the name? Um, I don't know whether I'd use my first name or my last name. There's already, I think there's already a, a Tweety Eye fish. Oh, okay. Right? I, 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 there, that sounds familiar. I, I, I don't feel really, like I tagged that fish before. Yeah, I think you have, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know, you know, something, something different. Uh, what would be really cool is we were just talking upstairs about the, um, hey, shut about up. About the cat. <laughs> Say something, cat. Shut up. Uh, we were talking about some midwater swimming for the lungfish. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool to come back with something like yeah. that for that. Something you get captured. Yeah. yeah. Like, you guys meet again. Yeah. Right? From yeah. the Amazon. Yeah. So, so, nothing from the zebra plecos so far? Nothing from the zebra plecos. Okay. Um, the, uh, the... <laughs> no. It I mean, talks like a human. Leave me and go away. Cat is well trained. You notice not there's not one paw off the carpet. Yeah. Because as soon as a paw comes off the carpet... How did you do that? The, the cat does not like water. Oh, no way! He does not like water. So a paw comes off, and I used to have a spray bottle in here, and just one little squirt. Oh. Uh. His paw would be wet, and he would run away. Now he just doesn't put his paws in here. Yeah, um, what about the discus, too? Discus have spawned one time, um, had a problem with their tank water at that time, so I chose to fix the water rather than pursue the spawn. Right. 
uh, they really freak out when we we turn the lights up full like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why the one's hiding over yeah, they, there. They they just do not like that bright of light. But um, still very healthy, and I'm expecting you know another spawn someday. I mean. My biggest thing with having that spawn is now I know that there's a female. I was really worried yes. about not getting a female. And it was fertile. Uh, yeah, they were they were fertile, but they didn't they did not uh, process the eggs because I was changing way too much water at that time to get okay. rid of the ammonia. Yeah, that's oh, and, it. And then we're gonna have to have Jimmy catch the fish he's taking home. Oh great. Yeah. Oh, great. oh, maybe you didn't know, but I work at a fish store now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't have the net skills that you do. The internet right. loves your net skills. I was yeah. just going over that video today. Were you? Yeah, and reading all the comments again. But. So yeah, so the first thing you have to decide is if you want the big ones, I don't care. If you want those ones, I don't care. If you want the babies, I don't care. But Preferably. I can, I, can, I can help you with males and females. Okay. Preferably the big ones. These guys? Yeah, I'm not trying to spawn them. Yep. But just trying to keep them because they look awesome. Then if you're going to take those, I would take all of those and we'll get a couple males. Okay, sounds good. Uh, because these males will catch up. <laughs> Look what he gave me! <laughs> you want a bigger one? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> okay. This one's a little deeper. <laughs> oh, is this the extendable? Yeah. You don't even have any shrimp. I used to have shrimp. Oh. Tons of shrimp. Got enough? You want two nets? <sighs> Let's try one. Look, your ladder's too close. I'm telling you right now, you'll end up with water on you. Hi, guys! <laughs> it's Jimmy trying to catch fish. Oh, and oh, the ceiling. Yeah, that's the problem. I was trying to tell you that. B roll. Yeah, eggs. Eggs in the mop. Nice. So, yeah, let me get that B roll of you. Look Is at that. that. One net full? Huh? That's pretty good, though, that one net. <laughs> yeah. How many is left? Two. Just nice. patience. Just really slow. Well, if you go slow, they will pretty much... Swim in it. Swim right in. Let's That's what they it. just did. Jeez. <laughs> one got out. Yeah, the people love your netting skills. After you let one German blue ram go. <laughs> and kept the other one. And kept the other one. People yeah. freaked out about that. I am making a lot of water spots for you though. It doesn't matter. They wipe off. And then out of here, use this net. Of course. Um, only take males. I uh, just need more water. Oh, and then you gotta shoot a teleport too. <laughs> for, um, for me to come next time I come to real. Oh fish. yeah. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll make it the intro. Yeah. That's the mop. Yep. So we're gonna pull it out. First we'll look up here at the top. And you can see this whole, I'll get a pointer. All this is a mess of eggs. See them? Yep. That is a lot. That's just a lot. And we haven't even got into the mop. So open it up. Piles of them. That's just the outside too. That's just outside at the top. The other place I find a lot of eggs is down here in the bottom. And yeah, we'll get to some. There's some. Yeah, see them? Kind of the more... I hate to say it, but... I would not want to pick these like Gary does. <laughs> I just want to hatch the whole mop. Look at them, they're everywhere. Yeah. I mean, is that an option? You could just hop, hatch the whole mop? I, that's what I do. I put the whole mop in a gallon jar, and then leave it in there for about a week or so, maybe a little bit longer. And the fry hatch out, I start feeding them in the jar. And then after about a week or so, I'm all up in here, I uh, take out the mop and put the fry in my fry, one of my fry trays. By then they're usually taking baby brine. How many eggs do you think this is right here? I think if we uh, pulled all of them out of the mop, because we haven't even got to some places in the mop, we would end up with several hundred. Wow. They're pretty durable too. Um, I mean, you can grab them with your hands like that and move them. There's one on my finger, right? Can you get that? E there it is. Yeah, I can just move him. 
to another spot. It's harder, harder for them to come off of him. They are small, like Gary says. Yeah, they're tiny. About, I'd say a millimeter or less. So Cool beans. Yeah. We got, I don't know how many. I don't either, I didn't count. Just a breeding group of Praycoxes Praycox here. Praycox rainbows. Thank you very much, Dean. You bet. And we just came back from a carne asada dinner. Um, he pulled out the spawning... <laughs> Pulled out the spawning mop, so we're gonna take a quick b-roll of that. But before we do, I want to thank Dean, and uh, you know, we'll teleport back home, so we don't have to sit They'll through traffic. Can you teleport with fish? I don't know what if they handle it so the well. What happens on the other end? They grow older. Maybe they come out as frogs or something. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Cheers. All right. I shut the camera off a little too early. He just showed yeah. me a bunch of baby rams. There's baby rams. literally. Hundreds and hundreds of them. Hundreds in there. of them in there. They're just starting to free swim. You can still see them. Tons of them on the bottom that aren't swimming yet. Um, I hatched them in I don't know what's that called a Lee's Lee's catch cup or catch something. Cup, I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Whatever it is, that's what it is. Um, you got the meth blue in there. Little tiny bit of meth blue, not even a full drop. And they were laid inside a saucer like this mm -hmm. so i just set the saucer in the corner standing up as they hatch they drop i'm sorry let's get up there as they hatch they drop off and the infertile eggs will stay stuck up there okay and you just pull that then out i pull that off after they after they all drop off um what we work on now is getting the methylene blue out okay so i do a half a water change every day and I'm actually using the water out of the fry tank because it's filtered really well. Mm -hmm. um, and then they will end up in a fourth tray up here uh, probably tomorrow and start feeding. Okay. Awesome. But like I said, I'm trying to shut the fish room down. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, what are we in? We're in June. June. Best time of the year for anybody breeding for profit to start breeding. In June? In June, because you got July, August, September to get those fish to saleable size. September's when algorithm is goes back to school. Everybody starts going to the fish store again. Mm. So it's re that's what's really hard about shutting down to go to Peru is because it's also the best time to start breeding. start breeding. So I'm just hoping that I can get these, you know, if I get several hundred of those to live, then those will be saleable. Yeah. When, when we start back. Um, That's a really good tip right there. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I want to thank Dean for having me over and, uh, you know, giving me all his angel fish. Angel fish, rainbow fish. I'm a dummy. Uh, got about like what looks like seven of them adults and maybe maybe six adults and two juveniles either way freaking awesome i'm excited i'm just gonna put them in here for now until you know basically know where I, where else i can put them uh, but why not put them in the rainbow tent for now uh, hope you guys enjoy the b-roll um i'll be gone for a week or two we'll be in the super zoo in las vegas if you're there give me a shout and uh, I'll see you guys in a few weeks.